guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today we are doing something different. I recently unbagged, unboxed some um, watercolor pencil crayons on my channel and some watercolor pencil paper, not pencil, just watercolor paper, I guess. Eh. So anyway, we're going to be taking a look at that and just for fun, I got a, a, a really cheap set of watercolors from the dollar store to test out. So anyway, these were the most expensive. These were on sale from Michael's. This was from Amazon and Dollar Store. So let me just quickly tell you the prices of everything before we look at how they stood up. And you have to know I'm a noob. I don't know what I'm doing. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, guys. So this set, this is the A-G-P-T-E-K set of watercolor pencils and if you want to see more about them I did do an unboxing on my channel so these are from the AGPTEK store on amazon.ca these were $26.99 for 48 colors plus a few sketching pencils three sketching pencils a watercolor pen and a, a holder that extends it so when these are small you can shove it in this and it will make it like a long size pencil again and one paintbrush. And it comes in this handy little case that can be zipped up. I really am enjoying these. So they're not like artist quality by any means, but for someone starting out, they're okay. So, and these were only $5.99 on sale at Michael's, and there are 24 of them. The difference between these and these is that these are labeled, and I would say the same quality. So if I could find a bigger set of these, these are only 24, these are 48, I'd say these are very close to the same in quality. Um, they both have some really good pencils, and then they have some, some of the colors that are more crumbly. So when you're coloring with them, they tend to crumble, or some of these ones broke. Um, you can see this brown one also broke. So I would say both sets are equal. So yeah, and we'll get into that in a minute. And this, I just basically did a swatch. I didn't try anything yet. These are from the dollar store. I think I paid a dollar or two dollars for these. I don't remember. But it was like under two fifty. All right. So this was the watercolor paper pad that I got at Michael's. There were two of these. with. The, there's a set of 30 pages on each. So there were two for the price of one. So I paid $16.99 and I got two of these. All right. So let's take a look. I did some swatches first. Now, when I'm even new to this, I probably did the swatches wrong. So if you're an artist, just don't hold it against me that I'm not, okay? I am very much a newbie. All right. So this is the swatch that goes with the A-G-P-T-E-K set. So that's this set here. Let me just put this down for a second. So what I did was I just drew some lines, and I separated it into 48. And then... I took each one of these pencils, and now that's the other thing I gotta tell you. These pencils have no labels or color numbers. So I had to go with my little stickers that I usually put for labeling my uh, diamond painting storage. And I put the stickers on, like first I wrote the numbers on them, and then I just put the stickers on. So I had the sticker sheet, and I wrote one to 48, and then I just slapped them on. And they don't wrap all the way around, but they do stay so far so good. And I just used a pen. So that I have some way of telling what they are. Because without this, you have no clue what you're working with. And you can't really tell by looking at the color. And they gave me a lot of pink. And purple. And, and not very many red. So we'll get into that. Like, there's only one red, really. I guess that could... Yeah, there's one red. So anyway, I swatched them. And this is what the swatches look like. So what I did was I colored dark here. I color it lighter here, and then I left the bottom empty. And what I should have done, I found out later, is take my pencil, I mean my uh, my watercolor pen, that's this here. There's water in, well, there's not now because I emptied it. But usually you squeeze it and water comes out the bottom. And you don't want a wet um, brush, you just want it damp. So what I should have done is I should have done the dark on top, stopped, Wait it for a dry, and then do the light, stop, and then see how much was left, and then done the empty to uh, 
see how much was left over. But all I did was I just colored down. So I didn't do these swatches right, but they still give you an idea of what the color was, which is what I wanted. So I don't know if I'll bother to swatch these all again. But you can see here are the colors. They're very nice. Um, they're light. But you can see what happens. This is what it looks like when you're just coloring, and this is when you add water. And you can make them as brighter if you want. If you add more layers, you can layer them. You can layer the colors if you want. Some of them are very translucent. Um, none of them are really opaque. And some of them, adding water doesn't really break up the lines, but it could be this watercolor paper is very porous and very uh, thick. But all in all, I thought these were very pretty colors. Like, this is the white. You can't really see it. And they give me a lot of grays and silvers. I don't know why they only give me one red. I mean, I can darken the oranges and the pinks to make red. You can add, I think, brown or blue. I don't know. I forget my color wheel stuff. But you can make more reds. But I'm just really surprised that they only give me one red. And I didn't notice that when I ordered because I thought there were at least two reds. But this is more like an orange. Number eight. To me, these are more orangey colors. So I would have liked more red. So the reason why I bought this is because I wanted more red. So these were 48 colors, AGPTEK Pro Watercolor at Amazon.ca, $26.99. Okay? And here are the Artist Loft Necessities 24 Michaels $5.99. These are all Canadian colors. And... These are nice because they're labeled, like dark green, medium brown, black, white, clay, yellow, you know, and it helps. Now, just ignore that. That's from the watercolors, which is a different page. So these came out just as nice. And it, in fact, the blues are even more vibrant. And these got rid of the lines. So when you added water, the lines went away. They dissolved. Whereas for this one... They didn't. Like you could go over it with more water and keep working it and they would dissolve. But some of them, even if you added more water, the lines were there. So for this, some of them, the lines were still here. But for some of the blues, they did dissolve. And for all of the light colors, the lines mostly dissolved. Which I'm told is something you want. I don't know. And the black is nice and black. So these colors, even though there's only 24, were really vibrant. And if I had to say, if you're a beginner, which kit should you get? I would go with this. Now this is nice because you get the extras, you get the case, you get more colors, you get the pencil sharpener, and you get this really cool watercolor pen, which I really like. But if you're just looking at the watercolor color pencils, as a newbie, I would say these Artist Loft from Michaels are better because they're about the same, if not a little wee bit better. So, but I do, I'm glad I have both of them because I like having all the options. All right, and then the third thing is that I swatched were the Dollarama watercolor paint set. And as you can see, I've got a big mess because they're very chalky. And you can tell when something's chalky is when they flake. Like if you can look, I'm... Is my camera, is my finger in there? I can flake the color right off. So that that's what it means when I say chalky. But anyway, for a dollar, you get some colors, but they don't stay. So if you rub them off, and I don't want to rub them off and get all this chalk everywhere, I mean, you might as well just color with chalk, right? So I would not recommend the dollar store watercolors so and then here i just did uh color over color so i just i painted some trees on some backgrounds to see if they layer and they do layer and if you're careful they're not that bad but the colors do come right off so i think the trick with these is maybe i added too much water so because I tried to do wet on wet, like this is wet on wet here. And you can see it's just all coming up. And when you have real watercolors, you should be able to do wet on wet without that happening. 
So I wouldn't recommend these, but if you have a kid that just wants to mess around for the price, you really can't go wrong if you don't mind the mess. But anyway, we already did the swatches, so I want to go into the first thing I tried to paint with these to compare. So keep in mind I'm a beginner. So I found a YouTube video called, uh, a YouTube channel called Sunshine Arts. This is called Easy Watercolor Landscape for Beginners. I did this on September the 30th of this year, 2022. And I tried the AGPT Eck first, and this is the result I got. And the last thing I did were the seagulls, and I messed up a little bit. But then I messed up a lot trying to fix it. I actually put a hole in the paper because I just used my nail and I was trying to scrape it off. I should have just added water and smudged it while it was wet and it would have come right off. But I didn't. So just ignore that seagull. <laughs> Pretend that's not there. <laughs> All right. And just look at the rest of it for the comparison because the comparison's not fair if it's about my skill. And my skill's not great. So this is the more expensive set that was $26.99 with 48 colors. And this is how it came out. And I did the exact same thing on both. I painted them. And this is with the cheaper set. This is with the Artist Love set. Now, I did the seagulls better on this one so it looks better. I left some white here where I didn't here because I added more yellow trying to fix all the smudge from the seagull. There was white here too, but I messed the white up. So let's just like look at this corner of the color. So you can see the sky where I, I started. I did some oranges and medium yellow and light yellow and then into the browns and blacks and then into the blues and then into the grasses. Okay. So just, so the colors didn't blend as well here as they blended here on the cheaper one, but the colors did cover a lot here. And uh, I'd say the colors are about the same vibrancy. And it was easier to work with the black in the cheaper one. The black was not as easy to work on this one. I don't know why. So I, I have no idea why. But my grasses came out nicer on the second one. And I got more fancy with the water here. I just did some waves. Not that that's fancy. That's very plain. Okay. And I didn't do that here. Here I just kind of colored and blended because I thought, what am I doing? I'm just trying to show the difference. And really, I don't see much of a difference. In fact, I like the yellows better in this one. I like the change in colors more. So, yeah. But to be fair, I have more yellow here and less yellow here. So that could be it. But that, what do you guys think? I mean, I think I would rather just spend the $5.99 at Michael's. Although, for this set here, I do love the colors, and I love the case, and I really, really love that water pen. But you could probably buy these water pens separately. So I think this one wins for me, just for price-wise and for how it turned out. And I don't know. I did smudge the blacks here somewhere, and I didn't smudge them here. But that's just user error on my part, and it's got nothing to do with the supplies. I'm not an artist, okay? So look, this is the first thing I, tr I tried. Easy watercolor landscape for beginner. All right, so for the second one, I have to open the book up more. So for the second one, I followed a Paint Academy um, tutorial on YouTube, and I learned that in the uh, tutorial, they sketched everything out in pencil first, right? And then I found out the pencil marks don't erase. They're, they don't disappear. I assumed the pencil marks would just disappear. So I like the way my tree looks in this one. I like the way the trunk looks. And in this one, I just used my one red. And I didn't add any oranges or yellows. I just used one color. And I tried to go lighter colors and darker colors. And um, I think I added too many colors. I went overboard and I kind of wrecked the effect on this one. But the colors are nice and vibrant. And it, in the camera, it looks like it's got reds and oranges, but it doesn't. That's just the lighting, I think. And down here, we've got some greens. So anyway, what I learned from this one was don't sketch with pencil without erasing the pencil first. Use pencil crayons. And I did this on October 4th. And that same day, I tried the Artist Loft one. And here I used the actual pencil crayons to sketch and, and also didn't do a sketch. So I basically just sketched out the trees 
and I didn't sketch the leaves at all. I just painted the leaves and I used different colors. I used uh, the red and the orange for this one. So you can see the, the two that are wet at the end. I used red and orange. I think I used two reds and an orange to see what I would like better. And for this one, I think I did the trunk too big, but we're not looking at my skill. We're just basically looking at the color. And I, again, for what I paid, I would say I like the Artist Loft better. Now, maybe next time I should sketch the Artist Loft first and the AGPTX second, because I seem to get better on my second try than I do on my first try. Although I like the way the tree looks better in this one, because I... I sketched it, and I'm better at sketching than trying to draw. Like, this just kept getting thicker and thicker as I got added colors. And I added some falling leaves to this one that I didn't on this side. And uh, But I really like the way my branches came out better in, the bigger, in this first tree. But color-wise, for the color of the tree, I like this, but it could be because I added orange. But they almost look the same, you know? So what do you guys think? Which one do you like better? Do you think I'll get better at this? So this is watercolor sketches. And these are so much fun, you guys. Um, and I'll do a video showing you how they work once I get used to them better. But basically, you just color. But you don't color exactly the same as you do for coloring. Because you have to take into account the color is going to spread when you add water, okay? So you don't have to color all the way up to the line unless you want a really clear color crisp line you can leave white spaces like I don't know how to explain it but it's just truly magical that when you add water it turns into watercolor I really am enjoying it so which one do you guys like better do you like the artist loft or the AJPT X tree better or do you like the artist loft down here or the AJPT X better which one do you think and I, I know I messed up the bird I feel bad about that hopefully I'll get better at this but I'm just learning, and I'm having fun, and I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. I mean, this is exactly how I was supposed to do it on the tutorial. And the second time, I just added some things of my own, like the leaf pile and squirting the paint on there. And I just, I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this too. I hope it helped a little bit. I know I'm a noob. If any artists are watching this, I apologize profusely. All right, guys, take care. Stay safe. Don't forget to leave your comments. And bye for now. Oops. <laughs> bye for now.